Hey guys, so I've been using the iPad OS on iPad mini 5 for about a day. So I'm going to talk about my first impressions and also how to install this and whether you should install this and talking about the performance and the battery in this first developer beta so you can decide as well so don't forget to like this video guys let's begin so starting with the installation process you can see here i am on the ios 16 beta channel so if you are not then you should install the ios 16 beta profile first and then go into the software update page and here enable the beta updates and you will see the ios 17 developer beta option so whether you should install this or not you will get it by the end of the video anyway moving to the first coolest feature is the lock screen wallpaper we missed it on the ipad os 16 now finally it is here so all you have to do is just press and hold on the lock screen and unlock it and you get to see these new options and you can customize as per your liking so as you can see these are the wallpapers that you probably have seen in the ios 16 as well so yes all of them most of them are available as you can see and i have actually installed a few of them just to save some time and you can see here the animations look pretty good even for this first developer beta and things will definitely surely get better with the future updates as you can see things look pretty smooth as well and also you can add widgets to the lock screen i'm not sure if this was possible on the ios 16 i never really used widgets and the landscape view looks even better so let me know guys if this was already there so moving to another useful feature that i found is the safari profiles i mean you can go into the settings and here somewhere down you will find the profiles option so if you add some profiles here I'm adding a couple of profiles here and you can also customize like color and stuff like that so what it does is basically it separates all the cache and uh, all the browsing history and stuff once enabled in the settings go over here on the bottom here you'll find the profiles you have created so just choose one and the next time onwards you can switch between the profiles right from here uh, so that's pretty cool and a very useful feature i would say now another little update is the health app now here you can manage all your health data sync from iCloud from the watch itself or your iPhone itself however it's a shame that Apple did not still allow iPad to pair with the Apple watch and I would say it's probably a hint that this could be happening in the future which would be really really cool apart from this there are also some other improvements to the iMessages stickers FaceTime and some Apple Pencil related stuff which I hardly use so I'm not covering it here. You know this is a beta but people still ask me about the performance and battery so here it is. Uh, the performance has been pretty decent for the first beta guys. I haven't noticed any major slowdowns as such. I mean you can see for yourself I have loaded a lot of apps here Netflix, YouTube and some other apps and this seems to do pretty well in terms of uh, uh, ram management it is all right not great uh, but it's normal i would say and you can see it is doing pretty well in terms of uh, the transitions and animations uh, there are literally almost uh, no uh, stutters or anything as such so i also have a lot of tabs open in the safari as you can see here and there are some heavy web pages and uh, here yes some web pages are reloading as you can see which is probably normal because uh, of the ram and stuff and this is also ipad mini 5 pretty old so yes for this old device and for the first beta keep in mind so i would say this is pretty decent so performance isn't going to be an issue for day-to-day -day tasks and content consumption however this could be different if you are using some niche app like photoshop or final cut or some other stuff so just keep that in mind and also in terms of battery life i haven't noticed any crazy battery drain as such and this is performing quite well i would say probably 10 20 percent uh, less uh, as per my vague observation so should you really install this i would say yes you can if you are a very casual user for stuff like content consumption browsing watching videos and stuff like that and not for anyone with some serious productivity requirements so that's been it for this quick video guys don't forget to like subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you soon